Hello, my peoples. I hope that all is well with you guys. Please only accept the message if it resonates with you. All right, now let's see. Let's shake up the dry. And that's going to be all that we take. So let's see. Taco Tuesday, baby. Okay, so something could be happening on Tuesday. Maybe you guys are eating tacos today. Or you recently did. So. A co-worker. So you guys could be going to get tacos with your co-worker. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday, baby. Leave your best friend or your boyfriend. I think I wrote that as boyfriend, but best friend, boyfriend, whatever. Drug bust. So someone could be getting busted for some hard drugs. Maybe someone's dealing hard drugs and they're going to get busted. Lurking ass. Oh, shit. Somebody could be snitching. Oh, shit, I just started, if you dating a dope boy, you need to leave him because you got a co-worker that's lurking and she could be snitching on you out of order. So, leave your boyfriend because he's out of order. Loyal spouse. So your boyfriend is out of order, but you're a loyal spouse. Joseph wanted loved, but got hate instead from his loved ones. So yeah, you could be this loyal person and then your boyfriend is some bullshit. Please heal. You're bleeding all over me. So, yeah, your boyfriend or your spouse is some bullshit. Beach. So, you guys may be taking a trip to the beach. You guys could be on the beach and going to have tacos. You will have many friends when you need them. So don't worry about the ones that you lose throughout the process. So this could be your best friend or your boyfriend. Again, take it however. Nunu, what it do, boo? So... Yeah, leaving your boyfriend so that you can get a new partner. Because I feel like this old one is bleeding all over you with their bullshit. Okay, two or more children. So if you guys have two or more children, then you guys could be getting a new boo. New boo, what it do? And I feel like this one is going to be loyal. You guys could have a doctor's appointment coming up soon for one or more of your children. All right, let's see. Come home at a decent time. So, yeah, I feel like your boyfriend is, um, you could be lurking after your boyfriend because, or your spouse because he's, you know, all over the place, not coming in. He could be sleeping with a co-worker. Coming home at, you know, crazy times of the night is out of order.
Okay, so what do we need to know? Yeah, it says, please don't deny me. So if you're having those thoughts of leaving your person because they're coming in at any time of the day and they're just, you know, all over the place, then you definitely should leave them because they obviously are not respectful for your home, your mental safety. Yeah, because look, playing with toys came out. So, yeah, I feel like you guys could be like, left um i was just about to say left sexually like um your sexual desires aren't being met and then look i crave intimacy but i don't want temporary people touching my mind body or soul so yeah that's exactly what this is ex having detachment issues so your ex could be sleeping with someone from their past just having a hard time letting go of the other people that they are dealing with. Okay, may I have clarity on beach, please? When spirit is sick of it, they're going to send you signs to make sure you know what's up. So you could have, um, could be, you know, going to the beach, like I said, only fuck with people who share the same goals as you because they're slowing up your growth. Something could have happened at the beach if you guys went to the beach. Like, only go to the beach with people who share the same interests as you. Don't allow people to, you know, drain your energy. So this is definitely about your boyfriend, not your best friend. <clears throat> okay, so someone's child could... Oh, shit. Someone's child also could be getting hurt. Because we got, please heal, you're bleeding all over me. So someone, you know, could be having a doctor visit because they're getting hurt. Or because they got hurt. Okay, so... Let's get clarity on lurking ass. Clarity on somebody that's lurking. Having healthy boundaries is a form of self-love and self-respect. So, yeah, if someone, you know, if this is outside people that are lurking in your business, then you need to set boundaries with these people. If not, this is you lurking through, you know, your person's phone or, you know, lurking through their shit. And then you seeing that, you know, you having to set boundaries to protect your own self, to protect your own energy. Just go off the vibe. You don't even necessarily have to check the phones. Sometimes we have the intuitive nudge and then we're like, no, but I don't have any proof. So I have to find proof. And then you go looking through the phone and then it's, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. Because now my fucking feelings hurt, can't breathe, can't eat, can't sleep, can't think. Okay, so I'm getting something about 1980s. So, someone is an 80s baby here. Yeah, look at that. Say your affirmations each day. This relationship is going to start with a new person. Someone who's happy, healthy, and balanced. So, like I said, this loyal, loyal person. New, new, what it do. That's even more confirmation that someone's getting a new spouse here. Or a new partner. Yeah, because look at this. Okay, so next it says, say your affirmations. So, you know, speak, help you to detach from, you know, your ex or help you to detach from whatever it is that you need to detach from. Um, I don't mean the things that I say when I lash out. So someone could be speaking out of anger or this could be you. And then look, date your partner as frequent as possible. Practice who you want to be. So, yeah, it's like definitely... Like, with this new partner, I feel like you guys are going to be able to hang out. It's going to be, like, your best friend, possibly. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's get out of order. Clarity for out of order, please. 
out of order. Ooh. Asshole judge. So there's a crooked judge that could be out of order. Out of order. Okay, so it said to say your affirmations, right? Well, this is an affirmation. I attract money, love, and success in my life. I am completely healthy in mind, body, and spirit. I bless my body. My spirit is happy and joyful. My mind is free from negativity. So mote it be. Okay, may I have clarity on drug bus, please? Drug bus? At a barber shop, possibly? So someone's barber shop could be getting busted? Or someone that, yeah, someone's doing drugs out of a barber shop? Yeah, look, it says literally pouring your guts out to a motherfucker who don't care. And then that just says, say, that fell on top of, um, asshole judge, say your affirmations and only fuck with people who share the same goals as you. So maybe you guys are dealing with a barber. Yeah, look. Okay, so this says recently lost someone or who will lose someone as a result to the karma that they have put on someone else. What you won't deal with will deal with you. So it's like someone maybe having a hard time with someone that they have lost. Someone's irresponsible here. A mutable sign that is irresponsible. Possibly have lost someone or will lose someone because of some spell work that they have done. All right, let's get clarity on this mutable sign. What about this mutable sign here, Spirit? Yeah. Okay. Mutable sign. That was a lot. It was a message pertaining to that, but I'm going to still put it back and see what comes out. Mutable signs, please. Mutable signs. That's a lot also. Eat your fruits and your vegetables. Consequences that affect other people. So yeah, someone was really being irresponsible here. Alright, what about this um, mutable sign, please? Here. With only a few cards. Mutable signs. Karmic relative. And then it has this shit is hard. So it's like whatever they're trying to deal with mentally is hard for them. This is someone's karmic relative. Um, this could literally be like your mom, your dad, your sibling. There's someone in your family here. Deny does not mean, uh, delay does not mean denied. So if something with um, a crooked judge that is denying you, you guys could have a child that is mixed or a judge that is um, denying something with a child. Delayed for having a child does not mean that you can't have one. Okay, that was a lot too. So, let's see. This karmic relative, please. Karmic relative. Karmic relative, please. Karmic relative. Mm. 
Whoa. You're sleeping with the enemy. Let them go. Because they're unable to change. What the fuck are these kids doing? Yeah, see, follow your heart. Survival mode is unhealthy. Just exist. Like, let go and learn how to just exist. And see life from a different perspective. Live in large. All right, let's see what's going on with the babies. What's going on with the minor child or the children? Yeah, because it did say two or more children here. So, yeah, something about a child here. So, yeah, let's see. What's going on with the babies feeling under the weather? So, yeah, so, wow, that is crazy. So, literally, somebody's baby has a doctor's appointment. <laughs> Seriously. That's crazy how this is falling out. Okay, Spirit, what else do we need to know? Not everyone has access to your to you because you're protecting your peace. So not just allowing anyone to be around your children. Being in survival mode for your children. Look, don't take criticism from people you wouldn't take advice from. I see money in your future. You guys are definitely going to be getting paid. Get paid, y'all niggas. Get paid. Okay, so... Let's see, recently lost a loved one, come home at a decent time, just fell out again. And I literally just stuck it back in the pile. So maybe someone lost a loved one and they're wanting like their partner to support them. And they're not. Or this person recently lost someone and they're just out running the streets like they're having a hard time. Okay, let's see. Recently lost a loved one. Oh, shit. In 12 hours? Holy fucking shit. Okay. Okay. So, so they could be gone for like 12 hours or this is like. In 12 hours, someone is going to pass. Damn. What's, what about 12 hours? 12 hours, please. Look, it says nothing gets past me. These holes for everybody. You deserve a queen, the world, and everything in it, and I'll provide it for you. Okay, so this just a miserable soul. You deserve a queen. Penny for your thoughts. I got a sugar daddy and I don't have time for the bullshit. So it's like someone that's just giving them money just for their time. So this could be what you're finding out in 12 hours. It, child. <laughs> okay, so look. Let's see. All right, loyal spouse. Loyal spouse. Clarity for loyal spouse, please. 
great with kids, with money, with their love. This is someone that's trustworthy. And then it says chin up buttercup. So yeah, like don't trip. This shit is all gonna be good, honey. Delay does not mean denied. It's just delayed right now. You got some learning to do. Damn, it's the same thing. Baby, I'm going to mess your hair up and then pay to get it fixed. So, yes, honey. King, stand up. Your family is depending on you to be this loyal spouse. Transmute the pain into power. So, yes, whoever this is, honey. Yes, yes, yes. And I told y'all this is a biracial person. So, someone's a demigoddess here. Someone's mixed. I'm not sure if this is the child. Or if this is a person that I'm reading for. But someone's definitely biracial. What's going on with Taco Tuesday? Taco Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. Ooh. Express yourself if you guys are going out. Yeah, to be playful. Yeah. Express yourself about, you know, your intentions. Set your intentions. Taco Tuesday. Okay, so you guys could be talking with a Aries, Libra, Cancer, or a Capricorn. You're needing to express yourself wholeheartedly. Not hold back. You know, express yourself. Yeah, because what you won't deal with will deal with you mentally. So definitely express your, your truth. Things, what was hidden is now being revealed. Doing shadow work also in order to align yourself. Because you could be very emotional right now at this time. With this on and off energy that you're getting. From someone that is... Not showing enough effort. So leave your fucking clown, baby, because you finna have some new, new what it do. That's a blessing in disguise, honey. Oh, a near-death situation will wake them up. So, yeah, someone definitely could be facing, like, I can finally fix me by looking at my history that I'm bad at love. So, yeah, somebody is going to be a blessing in disguise. Whatever happened to this person is literally going to be a blessing in disguise. It's going to have to, it's like giving them a reality check on what the fuck is going on here. So, you just go to the beach, have fun with your babies, and do not worry. Because every little thing is going to be a break. Don't you worry about a thing. Autumn, that is pentacles. This is earth energy. Bring fun into everything you do. Juggling multi, multiple priorities or jobs. An exceptional talent for multitasking. And I personally, myself, am a earth sign. So I am also very good at multitasking. You kind of don't have a choice. Completing a cycle here. A brilliant success. The freedom to go in any direction. A journey that is now complete. It may have come to a complete end in 2021. Yeah, because look, five of winter. Um, also with the world card, that is fixed signs, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Then we have the five of winter. And winter is for swords. So that's air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So someone may be walking away from this person, or if you're that sign, then you're needing to walk away from them. Um, realizing what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness, something that is not worth the effort. So that is what I got for you. 
Love you guys. Peace.